What's up, people? Welcome back to another object ordinary programming. So, today we are gonna do a slight different topic. Uh, now we have learned and understand the fundamentals of PHP's object ordinary programming. Now we are going to learn about PDO databases, classes, and connection. PDO stands for PHP Data Objects. PHP has a great documentation on its PDO. You guys can have a look at it if you guys want to. So we are going to build a class that allows us to interact with our database using PDO, which is PHP Data Objects. So uh, let's go. Let's create our database. Let's go to, uh, in this case, I do have MAMP installed for my web server and just go to PHP my admin. So you guys can use ZAMP or MAMP or WAMP, anything you guys want, or you guys have your cPanel server or anything, you guys can use that too. But in this case, I'm using PHP my admin, MAMP. Let's create our database. So Let's say we are going to create, let's pretend we are going to create a blog, a blog website. So I'm going to name my database, we blogster, we blogster. Let's create, and for our table, I'm just going to write post, and in this case, let's just put eight columns. And hit go. Let me maximize that. So for our first column, for our name, we're just going to put ID. And then make sure, make sure the auto increment for ID is checked. Hit go. And your index is set to primary. Okay. And the second call, um, we have title. We want to change the type to varchar. And for our title, we want to set, for our length of our title, we want to say 255. And then third, we want to say body. And we want to set to text. And then for our fourth column, we want to create underscore date okay so we have created create date let's go over here to timestamp and we're gonna say current timestamp and let's hit save okay so we got our post our post right here we just create our table and our database so let's go to our, uh, if you're a text editor or your folder structure or anything, if you have PHP Storm, simply just create a new directory inside your folder. So in this case, I have a folder named OOP, and I'm creating a folder which is called classes. And then inside our classes, we want to create a file named database.php. So when you guys created that, we will get this, right? Okay. So in our database.php, we want to create our class. So we say class database, open curly brackets, close curly brackets, and we want to set up our properties. So we need to we need a host, the database connection, username and password, right? So this will do the connection. So obviously we're gonna make it as private. We want a variable of host, and our host name will be local host. 
and then private for our user which will be our username in this case it's called root root and then for our password it's also root and finally for our database name we have called it as we blockster next this this will this for we will connect to our database right here so next we are going to create use a database handler so we're going to use private let's write it down database handler private and we want to create a variable db ha let's say db ha and then we want to create a property uh, property for our error so we want to say private uh, private error So next, we need to create a statement property to execute our statements. So again, private, and we want to create a variable called stamt, and then we need to create a constructor. We need to create a constructor. As we went over in our previous videos, and and the constructor is a function that runs when the object is instantiated. So we create public function underscore construct. So uh, we are gonna use to create our my MySQL databases which in this case is PDO MySQL DSN. DSN is called data source name, right there. And to set the DSN, let's write it down. So we are gonna set the DSN, which will be the connection string. So we want to create a variable called DSN. It goes my SQL host equals we want to concatenating we want to say this host and semicolon we want our database name and then we want to say this will be database name next we want to set our options set our options we want a variable name option. We want to say we, will, we just want a array and open a parenthesis, close parenthesis. Inside our option variable, we want to create an array. We want to say PDO two colons ATTR persistent is equal to true next we want to set our error mode attribute so we want to say pdo actually error mode is referring to pdo error mode exception okay that's our options semicolon let's now let's now create our new PDO so by creating our new PDO we want to set a try and catch block so we say try try well let's put it here catch so in our try block we want to say this dbha right dbha equals new pdo d 
creation to this user this which will refer to our password and our option next in our catch block we want to just print out our error message so I can say PDO exception variable anything you want but in this case I'm just going to write a variable EX and then inside our catch block we just want to say this error is variable EX and we want to get the message so what the try and catch block is, does is it uses it runs the try block if it finds anything it will, it will connect to our database using our database user password and so on if it if it doesn't work with this then it will go to our cache block and it will print out our message so now we have created our database now let's go to our main.php and we are going to require our database and to have a main.php so I require classes and database.php next we want to create a variable called database it goes new database so I'm just gonna pause this video and move on to the next tutorials so I uh, we have created our database we we know how to connect it to our database right here thanks for watching and I will see you guys on to the next video.